welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1983, and we are still in Ultima 3. We last left off, I said I was going to do some level grinding. I have done some level grinding, uh, but it ended up being much more of a hassle than it was worth, so I ended up cheating to get the rest of it done. Uh, but we'll talk about that as we continue. I don't believe that I have an overpowered party by any means at this point. So. Let's go ahead and press the space bar and get in. We have quite a bit to talk about today, but we will actually start exploring today, which is nice. All right, so we will journey onward. I do have my party here. Uh, let's pause so we can talk about what I have done. So uh, when it comes to level grinding in this game, uh, there are some issues that seem to be um, prevalent among people's complaints about this game. Uh, and that is that level grinding is very difficult. And often you will go broke, starving yourself trying to level grind. So I uh, have found a way to avoid that. And that is to cheat. Um, what ends up happening is that the encounter rate in the overworld here is very low to the point that it's, going to be hit or miss whether or not your level grinding is actually going to be successful um, because you go around you fight enemies you get some gold you come back to town and suddenly you don't have enough gold to even replenish your food so if you're playing the original versions uh, and you want to do it legitimately which will take you dozens of hours uh, what i would recommend is having a backup save going around, seeing if, um, you know, deplenishing maybe a hundred food, go back into town, see if you have 400 gold to buy 400 food to replenish your supplies. And if you don't, I would reload your save and try again and just keep doing that over and over again until, you know, maybe you can get what you're looking for. Uh, the patch does have options to fix this. I have not uh, implemented those fixes uh, because I wanted to get kind of a sense of the real game, the real original game. But the patch does two things. Uh, number one, it doubles the encounter rate on the overworld, uh, which is what we're in right now. I'm going to call this the overworld. And two, it does uh, cut your food consumption in half. And by doing that, it makes the game four times easier to level grind in. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Um, and then as a result, it made it very difficult for me to actually level grind. Uh, like I said, I probably cut dozens of hours off the grinding to do what I've done here. Uh, but I, like I said, I do not have an overpowered party by any means. This is basically where I wanted to be when I left um, uh, for this next uh, section here. So we have quite a bit to talk about. Um, one of the things I did want to talk about is something that I did not cover in the last video, uh, which were, uh, which is the other classes and stuff. Um, let's talk about that as we kind of go over where my characters are right now. We'll start with Aragorn here. Aragorn is a human. Uh, the one race I did not talk about was a uh, dwarf. Dwarf is what you want when you want to max out your strength because they have the highest strength stat out of everybody. They max out at 99. Their dexterity maxes out at 75. Intelligence only goes to 50 and wisdom goes to 75. And that's what you want to have if you want to have basically your fighter, your barbarian, stuff like that. If all you care about is your strength and dexterity, that's the way to go. I should, also didn't really talk about what the stats do. Um, I, I briefly went over it, but uh, I've kind of confirmed what I was th thinking, so let's go over it again quickly. Strength deals, uh, how, changes how much damage you deal. Dexterity changes how accurate you are, also affects steals and disarms and things like that. Intelligence and wisdom are used for your magic, and we will talk about that uh, when we talk about the... Um, classes because how those are used depends on your class but aragorn here is my ranger ranger is kind of your all-around character uh ranger has access to most weapons most armor and access to both kinds of spells they also have access to some stealing and disarming uh, the way that they use their spells is one of the more complicated ones but you take a look at their intelligence and their wisdom, you find the lower of them, divide it by two, 
And that's the stat that is used for the spells. So they're not a very strong caster, uh, but they do have access to both of the spells. So that's like your, your character here, the ranger. Um, Aragorn's HP is at 450. Uh, that is because I leveled him up. We'll go over levels, but you might notice that the stats are the same as when I set him up. Uh, and in the version that I'm playing, you do have to have a minimum of five for each stat. There are other versions where you can actually have zero on that stat. Just say you don't care about it, but um, not this version. Uh, this next one is HP Max. That's what the HM stands for. 450 there. I gave everybody 2,000 gold. Gave everybody 5,000 food, as you might see. Um, remember that if your food runs out, they die. So I would recommend trying to keep your food up. I also gave everybody 1,200 experience. That is actually quite a bit. Uh, we're not going to be necessarily using all of it because your level, as you might figure out as we continue, isn't the most important thing in this game. It really only affects your HP. And we'll talk about how you actually use that later. I uh, didn't give them any of the gems, keys, powders, torches, anything like that. I did give everybody the best uh, weapon and armor that was available in town. That would be the bow for Aragorn for me. At least I say it's the bow, and we'll show why later. And the plate armor. That is Aragorn as a... Uh, character there. Now before we get into Samwise, I went a little too fast. I want to talk about some of the other classes. Like I said, Ranger is kind of an all-around class. Another all-around class would be a Druid. Druid um, can only use the mace though and can only use the cloth armor. They do have access to both spell types, but they're a little bit stronger about it you take the stronger of your two stats in Intelligence and Wisdom, divide that by two, and that is the stat that is used for the Druid's magic. Plus, Druids also regain their magic points faster than any other character. Um, I'm also kind of using Aragorn as kind of my fighter class. Um, it's a physical attacker. So let's talk about the physical attackers because I don't have any others. Um, there is the, the fighter. The fighter has what access to all weapons and all armor and no access to spells whatsoever. So if you're just going for pure physical attacker, fighter is the way to go. Uh, then there is also the thief. We'll talk about the thief when we get to Luthien. Uh, there is also the barbarian. The barbarian is a little bit between the fighter and the thief. The barbarian has access to all weapons but only up to leather armor. Can't do anything metal, basically. Think Conan the Barbarian. Uh, Barbarian also has no access to spells, but does have a little bit of stealing and disarming, uh, just like the Ranger does. All right, next up we have Samwise. Samwise is our paladin, as a paladin has access to all weapons, has access to plate armor, has access to the prayer spells, and those prayer spells are cast using the stat that is half your wisdom stat. Uh, so it doesn't matter what your intelligence is. If you're a paladin, you're only trying to get your wisdom up. So that is kind of your paladin. Uh, the other kind of prayer based characters are your straight cleric, right? This one is what you want if you want the best prayer spells imaginable. Uh, that would be the cleric. It is uh, a character that can only use a mace can only use up to chain mail, so can't use the plate mail, and does use the wisdom, full wisdom stat, in order to use their prayer spells. And then the third one that is available is the illusionist. That one also can only use your mace, up to a mace as a weapon, can only use up to leather armor, and does use half their wisdom stat to cast the prayers and does have access to some steals and disarms if that's what you want. There's a lot of hybrids going on, but Samwise has up to uh, 350 HP. Uh, that is a little bit lower than Aragorn, but we'll show why that is in a little bit. Uh, we also have 2000 gold on Sam there. I do have the bow and plate mail on Sam. And a couple leftover things that I don't really care about. 
All right, next up we have Luthien. Luthien is our thief. Uh, thief is more or less a physical attacker, can use up to a sword um, in terms of weapons. Also can use up to leather armor, no access to spells, and has the best steal and disarm traps ability out of everybody, which is the reason why Luthien is here. Uh, 250 HP for Luthien. It was a little harder for me to level grind with Luthien as I was going, um, but I was able to get some done. In terms of the weapon, I switched Luthien over to the bow. You might notice that everybody's going to have a bow. Bow is the best thing to start. Far none. And we'll show why that is as we continue. But bow, leather armor on Luthien there. I did have a sling for a while on Luthien, just upgraded to the bow. Um, I don't know where that mace came from, to be honest, but uh, we'll eventually sell it. It's a hassle selling in this game. And then finally, we have Chirpa. Chirpa is our Lark. Now, Larks are sorcery-based characters, but Larks have access to all weapons, only up to cloth armor, though. And to use their sorcery spells, you take half their intelligence stat. The other sorcery characters are your wizard. Wizard is your pure sorcery based character. Can only use up to a dagger and cloth armor, uh, but does use their full intelligence to cast their sorcery spells. And then the last one would be the alchemist. Alchemist does also only use uh, dagger and cloth armor uses half their intelligence to cast the spells, but can do some stealing and disarming. So those are kind of all of the characters that are available to you. I have tended to go for the characters that had access to weaponry. That was kind of where I wanted to go. The spells are nice, but I, you know, especially early on, I'm gonna need them to have access to good weapons and you know, mace and daggers, they're not gonna be good enough. So I kind of threw all those characters out and decided how to, to get the characters going from there. Uh, Chirpa still only does have uh, 250 HP, a bit of gold, get a bit of experience, and is also on the bow and the cloth armor. All right. So, I think we are ready to move forward a bit. Um, we'll circle around to Lord British's castle here. Hey, look, a fight. You might also notice that I have a ship. Um, they randomly show up and they're very rare, so I didn't want to uh, wait to get the ship. So that ship should still be there for me. Um, I just had to defeat some pirates to, to make that happen. But we are now in our first official fight with a group of thieves. Now. Let's uh, take a look at Sam's stats here, which I believe consumes his turn. Um, not not nice, but uh, we need to do something. Okay, so getting into a fight. Interesting. Um, you, you kind of set up your characters to start. Uh, they all get their turns in order, and then the um, enemies all get to move at once. Now, we're only up against one enemy, which is very rare. You don't typically see that. Um, we have our characters on the front line, and then we have our characters behind them. Now, I want to typically put them into a little box. Uh, you can shoot over your characters, so don't worry about that. It will, you know, your arrows from your bow will go right through them. <laughs> no problem. Um, but in order to get experience, you have to be the one to kill the enemy. If you don't kill the enemy, you don't get any experience which is what makes level grinding even harder in this game. But we are up against a thief. Let's talk about the thief that is presented in the uh, manual. They lump thieves, cut purses, and brigands together. These are the worst of the human trash that pollute the countryside. Thieves can steal any weapon or armor that thou hadst, except for those which thou art equipped. The brigands man the pirate ships and fiercely control the oceans. All right, so let's cycle through his stats. Once again, I believe this consumes his turn. It does. Okay. Um, attack and north. There we go. Down he goes. You get five experience for that. And a treasure chest has spawned. Let's go ahead and go over the treasure chest. Hit the G button for get chest. Now, there's two ways to really do this. You can um, have Samwise here cast a spell on it first and then it should open up i you know brought a thief along for a reason though so i'm gonna 
have player number three open the chest and I get 58 gold. Now having that uh, thing spawn, wow, look at the spawn rate so far. This is not typical for um, the spawn rate so far. There we go, more thieves and there are a lot of them. So let's just go ahead, fight, fight. Get everybody lined up here. All right, down goes one. I'll have you move up. You attack, uh, you kind of go over here. All right, down you go. Attack right, attack up. Ah, wrong way. And there we go. And now you might be able to figure out how much easier it is to get uh, characters to um, get experience in the front line, get them all get them the experience because they have the ranged weapons, all that kind of stuff. All right, 63 gold in there, and uh, don't be surprised if I don't get into another fight for a long time. Uh, let's start exploring around. We'll start by going up here. There is a dungeon up here. You do not want to go into a dungeon yet. Even with my characters the way they are, I am not ready to tackle a dungeon. Really? Another one? What is going on today? Where was this when I was trying to do my level grinding? All right, um, have you there, attack up. Everybody just go up here. All right, down you go. Now, one of the things about this fight, you might notice like how I moved the characters. Um, the enemies can attack diagonally, you cannot. So, if they're in a spot where they can attack you diagonally, you kind of want to get away from that. Line them all up like this, because we just have the one enemy. Alright. Now, Sam has been hit a few times. As, you, as we walk around, notice that his HP will go up, kind of naturally. And we got a mace. This has been so much better than uh, the level grinding that I was trying to do. Now, the level grinding... If you're trying to do it on the original version, as I show off another dungeon here that I am avoiding, I would recommend having backup saves. Uh, basically do a little bit of level grinding, maybe consuming um, 100 or maybe even just 50 food. And then um, we're going to go through the forest here. And then seeing if you have enough gold to replenish your food. If not, um, reload your save and try again. Uh, there is a dungeon here. We will go out the other side. Uh, we do have a limited field of vision. Where'd that go? I was looking right at it. I think it's a little bit higher. Does it move? I swore it was right there. All right, if we go down here though, we can see a little area, but that it will be useful later. Um, I'm ignoring all the stuff on the screen. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it when it's more important. There should be something here. Um, I think it's this level. Where'd that go? Does it only show up every once in a while? I thought it should be here all the time. Hey, look, an orc. We will take on the orc, talk about orcs a bit. Uh, we're going to look at the stats here. So, orcs, goblins, and trolls. These three magic creatures of evil are the result of long-ago mutation wrought by magic. As they were created by magic, so can a wizard spell dispel them from this plane. Let's see if we can't show that off. So, in the fight, um, we will waste Aragorn's turn, because I want to pause. And then we will have player two attack up. You attack up. And then we'll have player four cast a spell with C, uh, because Chirpa only has access to wizard spells, it'll automatically choose that. If you are um, casting a spell with somebody with access to both, it'll ask you uh, W or C, wizard or cleric. But the wizard spell that we're looking for is Repond. If you remember from our first video, Repond can dispel orcs. So we'll hit A for Repond, and down they both go. Um, it's not necessarily typical for us to destroy both, both of them like that. Um, we'll search this chest. And we got an acid trip. 
trap which does do damage to the person that was um, opening it but uh, Rapon does not uh, guarantee that all of them are going to go away there is a significant chance that they will not um, we can also have our character here do it so it was a wizard spell wizard spell was a right failed did not work and you can only cast it once per yeah once per fight so not gonna happen there Um, up, I guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we'll get this. 48. Okay, so whatever was there is not showing up again. Uh, I, I might have to look that up to see what's going on. But we have another town down here. Let's enter it. This is the town of Montour West. Let's pause while I pull up my stuff there. Um, and we'll, we'll try to figure out what was going on with that one. All right, there's Montour West. Where's the other town that I was looking for? Ah, it is, it is a town. I'm not going crazy. It is a town that, you know, was there and then was not. <laughs> so we'll talk about that when we actually have to go there. Like, let me, I wish they would let me out of this. So I didn't have to like cycle through this every time. Okay, so Montour West, here are some guards. Let's talk about guards. Let's actually find them on the list here. Guards, they resemble big bouncers at tough bars, all brawn and no brains. If a crime is detected within a town or Lord British's castle, each guard will pursue thee to the boundaries of the place. Most guards are very difficult to overcome, but rumors have been circulating that some guards are not completely honest. Rumors, huh? All right, we'll start by going kind of uh, top left here. Um, what we're gonna find is little areas with nothing but guards in them. We're going to ignore those. Uh, Montour Prison is here. None shall pass. That's okay. Don't want to get into a fight with guards yet. You know, it's Ultima. Eventually, I probably will want to do that. But right now, no. All right, armor and weaponry shop here. Good stuff, eh? Seek the Jester in Castle Fire. Uh, the weapons and armor shops uh, all along Sosari are going to have the same thing, so no need to really do anything with that. More uh, guards down here. So let's head in here to the Ambrosian Delight. Good grog. Good food. Ambrosian Delight is another grocer. Um, but we can talk about merchants here. Merchants, the mainstay of Sosaria's prosperity. They operate the shops in town to the benefit of all. Some are not very clever, and if a sharp thief is in thy party, then a chest or two might be stolen from under the merchant's nose. If thy thief is caught stealing, the entire town guard will assault thee. So, I wouldn't recommend it unless you, you know, really know what you're doing. Way overleveled, stuff like that. Good grog. So says Sentry. Um, there, are, there are two people here, Sentry and Shimino. I should talk about that. Um, if you are playing a different um, version of the game, Shimino is actually replaced by Richard Garriott. Interesting little thing there. Okay, so the bar, I do want to talk to the people at the bar. Or the pub, I should say. Um, and now I am going to try to get all the hints that are available. And once again, this is across the Saria. We'll start with 10 gold pieces. Ambrosia, ever heard of it? I have not. Yes. Let's do another. And then 20 gold pieces. Dawn, the city of myths and magic. 30 gold pieces gets you the conjunction of the moons finds Link. 40 gets you nasty creatures, nasty dark, sure the ready for the embark. Uh, 50 gets you. None return, or so I'm told, from the pool, dark and cold. 60 get you. Shrines of knowledge, shrines of strength, are all lost into the brink. 70 get you. Fountains fair and fountains foul, all are found in dungeons bowel. 80 get you. Exodus, Ultima 3, which is next, now could it be? And 90 get you. Seek ye out the lord of time and the one way is a sure find. 
So those are the hints that you can get in Sosaria. All of them. And we were going this way. Uh, more guards down here. All right, so we are ready to go. That is Montour West. Not too much going on here, right? As is typical of Ultima. Um, Lord British's castle is pretty much the main thing here. But we can go into uh, the town of, that's not the way I wanted to go, Montour East. All right, Montour East. Uh, we'll start by going... No, we'll start by talking to you, actually. There's nobody there. There we go. Jolly Joe says ho, ho, ho. Not necessarily worth it. Over here, more guards. Yeah, they just kind of hang out in the corners. All right, we'll talk to you. Marks are useful. This is the Brown Oric. That is another, I believe, pub. Yes, pub. So I'm going to say zero. Leave my shop, you scum. I don't want to pay for beer. I already paid for all that. Exotics are useful. More bodyguards down here. Or guards, I should say. They don't really have much to talk about, which is why I'm avoiding them. Guards over there. But we can go in here to the armor shop. Cards are useful. I think they both say they do the same thing. Armor shop. Now just those five, and then... Yeah, there, there's two of them, but they don't have anything different. Baby Bob says, bring me bucks. <laughs> Cards are useful. And then the weaponry shop here, nothing new there either. Okay. More guards, and that is Montour East. All right, let's see where I want to go next. Because this area is a little complicated, and it's easy to miss some things. But for the time being, I think we'll just kind of go through here. And this kind of uh, loops us around the map. So sorry, it is a, a long continent. Hey, look! There was something there that we will not talk about because it's not useful to us yet. Um, I should point out the, the numbers at the top. The numbers at the top are the cycles of the moons. There are two moons. They go through us, their own little cycles. When the left one was zero is when that one showed up. Just throwing that out. Okay, we can go over here. This will take us into Moon. Now, Moon is an interesting town. Let me pull up everything here. It's a little bit different depending on which version you're playing. We are honored. You should be. Uh, let's start by, you know, just following the path down here. Good day. Good day. That way. There we go. Good day. Local grocer. Don't need anything. Capesi Cantom. Uh, now, depending on which version you're playing, there might be a temple here. Um, there's not for us, so we're avoiding it. But we can go over here. Seek ye the Shrines of Truth. That sounds important. Another couple people over here. To arms and to battle. To arms and to battle. All right, let's start by going down here where we can find the Holy Healing. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Because... I mean, they're not necessarily Catholic, but they're Catholic. Like, all the stuff that we went over in the clerics thing, like, screams Middle Ages Catholicism to me. Anyway, we'll talk to the healers here. Clerical healing sacraments. The healers. In remote areas may be found healer kiosks. Their restorative powers can be purchased, although the tariff is steep. Very steep. Um, if you want... You can cure yourself of poison. Hopefully you don't get poisoned because it's very expensive. I believe it's 100. Healing will heal your um, hit points back. Uh, resurrection will bring somebody back from the dead. But if they are ashes, or if resurrection fails, you need to do recallings. And that, that starts getting very expensive. I believe resurrection was 300, and I think recallings is like 5. And something like that. It's very expensive. And you notice, like... We're down almost 
you know, what is that? 80, well, 70 times 3. Well, we're down about 300 food. I don't think we've gotten 300 food back, or 300 gold back since we've been going, so food is very expensive. Fare thee well, my children. But those are healers. Uh, there's also a set in um, Lord British's castle, if you wanted to talk to him there. All right, we'll talk to you. Good day. We can go here, but there's nothing really here. All right, top right. I don't think you have anything important to say. Nope, same as everybody else. Uh, Blue Boar, I believe, is another either pub or um, pub or uh, rations place. Uh, bribe guards, they will leave. So yes, you can bribe guards. Pub. So there's basically the next town. But yes, you can bribe guards and they will leave, but I wouldn't recommend it. Look how many of them there are. <laughs> not all of them are gonna work that way. All right, so that is Moon. There's not a lot in a lot of these towns, but they're worth looking at. All right, so that is Moon. We will move on from here. Get into another fight with orcs. We'll have you attack, you attack, you attack, and you cast Rapond. Did not go and kill anything, did you? Alright, and... Down you go. Alright, we'll get this. Acid Trap was evaded. 18 gold. Remember, the Acid Trap just does damage to one person. Yeah, the encounter rate out here is way higher than I am used to. This is way more than I thought. All right. Thieves! Can't really dispel them. But I can take them out pretty quickly, I think. They hit us a couple times. Jeez, how are you still kicking? There we go, five experience each. Yeah, to get to where I am is quite a feat. <laughs> All right, trap evaded. We got 49 gold and a dagger. Now I should put out about daggers. They they can be thrown, and if you're not careful, you will throw them when you don't mean to. So, gotta be a little careful about that. Let's go in here to another town. This is you. You is a type of tree, very common for um, bows because of how strong it is and flexible it can be. All right, Town of You. There's not a lot going on here, but we'll talk to people, see what's going on. Search and ye shall find. All right, we'll start by going south, I think. And we can find some people here. Bonum Enema Turi Amen. Can you say the same thing? Yeah, these guys are very much, um, like, Catholic. <laughs> like, specifically middle-aged Catholic. All right, Rogation Worships. Let's call it that. You say anything interesting? How about you? You're way out here. Nope. Everybody says the same thing. Okay, so we'll go east from here. Ooh, that was... That was lava. That was not smart of me. I think that consumed 50 HP for everybody. Welcome to the circle of light. Welcome to the circle of light. Yeah, I should have been more careful here. That's all anybody has to say is welcome to the circle of light. All right, if you're playing a different version, um, there might be a temple around here. <laughs> okay, what do you guys have to say? Same thing. Know ye well thy foes. And the clerical stuff here. All right. So more healers. This is Senescare. Let's go with that. My Latin is not the best. 
All right, what do we got here? Aliment. Know the well, thy foes. And a grocer. Okay, let's go there. That should lead us out. So that is the town of you. Um, actually, I should go back to the Circle of Light. Uh, I haven't uh, officially learned that, so we'll have to come back at some point to deal with that. I don't want to do things that, you know, the game hasn't specifically told me to do yet. And now we are out. Okay. Let's look back at the world map, figure out where I'm going. We're pretty much done with things that I can do on the mainland. But then if you go up here, there is another dungeon. And I would not recommend going into dungeons yet. Okay, so I do have the pirate ship. I do have, um, is it, no, there's, there's a little bit more I can explore, actually. Let's head kind of to the west side of this. Um, to the right here, this is impassable. There's no way to get in there. Uh, but there is another dungeon here that we are avoiding because I don't have anything for it. But I can go in here. This is the part that makes me a little nervous. This is Gray. Now, Gray is an important town for us. Um, but there's a couple things that I would recommend. Um, and we'll, we'll get there. Um, let's talk to people. Don't you wish you were a jester? I do not. Don't you wish you were a jester? No. Uh, rations are available here. Good day. Nobody has all that much to say to me. Can go up here, find you. Only exotics will protect from great evil. So, whatever these exotics are, it sounds like I'm gonna need them. So many thieves. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, they're pirates. Just so many pirates. Are you gonna let me out? All right, I, I just need out at this point. Okay, and then, um, don't you wish you were a jester? I can head in here, find the weapons and armor shops. Ever seen exotic arms? I have not. Nope, still haven't, not since the last guy asked. All right, weapons and armor. What I need to do is, uh, number one, avoid this place. Down there is uh, some treasure, but uh, you'll have to get into a fight for it. And when you get into a fight, it alerts all the guards. And I'm not ready to take on guards yet. Uh, what I need to do is find a way around back of the tap house here. Is that going to let me do it? Are they not going to let me do it the way that I want? I thought that I could just go around back. All right, like at some point you guys have to let me out. Ah, this might be the guy. Only exotics will protect from great evil. Oh, I was in the wrong spot, that's why. Tap house, there we go. We want to take this and this will take us to the guild. Now the guild is something that we can read. So let's do that before I get into their menu. Where is that? The Guild Shop. The Thieves Guild offers at a high price tools of their trade. Guild shops are difficult to locate as most towns have driven them out. All right, we'll talk to you and we need to buy keys. Buy... Oh, just K for keys. I'm like, A, one. What, what's going to work here? Keys. Um, I'm going to need some keys. Let me see. How many am I going to need? I'm going to need quite a few, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, 
Um, let's go overboard. 20. Nope, that'll do it for me. Okay. Um, I know that I need quite a few. I just don't remember exactly how much. But uh, that should do it for me here in... What town am I in? I've already forgotten. Gray. Gray is the town that I am in. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And we'll see if we can't do anything in the secret town. Kind of down here. Okay, let's see. From the end here, it should be just like here. Let's put it there. And we'll wait for all the moon cycles to pass here. Because I believe that is when it lines up. Is it not going to do it? I think we were we started at 5. Unless I was on it. Alright, fine. We'll ignore that for now. There's not much we can do for that with that right now anyway, I think. All right, so let's go back to Lord British's castle. We have some work to do. Hopefully all my HP will come back. All right, ship's still there, that is good. All right, back to the castle. Now there's a few things that we did not explore around here. I don't think there's too much out here. Let me check. Yeah, there's, there's nothing on the outside. Let's head in. We can talk to Chuckles. Welcome all. Chuckles was from Ultima 2, if you remember. And then uh, this is uh, Cash Castle British, or Castle Britain. I've heard it both ways. We can find the mess hall over here. This is where we can get rations. Phantom Fighter, this food stinks. Cookie Cries, like the food? Let's move on. Good day. And we can go to the east side. Guino sings ma e o e o. Guino was from the uh, first game. Enter if you dare. Well, I'm supposed to, but not not yet. All right, we have another set of healers here. Those have storerooms, but. That is blocked. Then we do have Yolo. Ho a o he hum. Yolo is waiting for us. Another locked door. And then here is Lord British. What we want to do is um, talk to him. Now, talking to Lord British is the way that you level up. And leveling up gives you more HP, which I will want. Thou art, welcome my child, thou art greater. And that's what he says anytime that you have 100 experience points more than you do for your current level. So that is how you level up. So now Aragorn will slowly get up to 550. I want to get up to uh, 650 for each person. Welcome my child, seek ye the mark of kings. So I think that might be as high as that he will let me go. Welcome to my child, thou art greater, thou art greater, seek the mark of king. So this is as much as he's going to let me do. We'll just keep on doing this. All right. So now everybody should have up to 550. You Notice how much of my gold is gone already. Like, I might not have cheated enough on the gold, to be honest, considering what I want to do. Okay, so everybody should be slowly regaining their HP and stuff like that. Um, let me make sure that I'm going to have everything I want in order to get um, everything else done. So hold on, let me double check a few things and I will be back. Okay, I think I have what I need, so let's go in and we will 
unlock at least the one in uh, Lord British's chambers here. We're going to go through this door. Now, we could also go through the door that is uh, to the right that will lead us to the prison. However, uh, we don't uh, have a way of dealing with the damage that will happen when we're there. So we will unlock and we'll use Aragorn's key. There we go. And we've made it back here. How you doing, buddy? Good day. Good day to you. Why are you following me everywhere? I don't like this. I'm not doing anything. Let's go around, see what we can find back here. And we can kind of circle around everything. Good day. Good day indeed. Can I talk to him? Good day. <laughs> you wanna leave me alone, buddy? So yeah, we can't deal with a lot of the damage, but there is some information that we can find back here. If they will let me go where I wanna go. Good day. There we go, careful of the lava. And we have made it to the Oracle. And we have the Prophet of Life. Now I believe that for this I'm going to need one 100 gold here. You'll learn of marks and playing cards and hidden holy shrines. Two. Of marks I say there are but four. Of fire, force, snake, and king. What can't pay? Ouchie scum. Uh, let's join all my gold to Aragorn here and keep going. Three. Learn their use in Devil Guard or death sure you'll surely bring. Four. We'll do shrines there are again, but four to which you go and pray. Five. Their uses are innumerable and clues throughout, I say. Six, the cards their suits do number four, called Soul, Moon, Death, and Love. Seven, unto the Montars thou must go for guidance from above. You didn't even spell right, that cost me 700 gold, you can't even spell it right. Eight, to aid thee in cryptic search, to dungeons thou must fare. And finally, nine gets us thou s there seek out the Lord of Time to help you if he cares. So this is a uh, Red Iron, the Oracle. He gives us a whole bunch of visions, and um, that 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 is that. Um, that is what I went out of my way to do. Hooray! Uh, yeah, it costs a lot of gold to do that. How much am I down to? Just 2,300 after all of that. I started with 8,000 when we started this. And I'm down to 2,300, even getting into fights. And I've spent over, what, 600? Jeez. Get me out of here. 600 food? Almost 800 food. I don't like this guy following me. Let's get out of here. So, uh, that is what we came to do. Uh, there's still more for us to explore, but it's gonna involve get us getting on our ship. There's a couple more towns that we can get more information from. But as you can see, I'm actually gonna need more money than what I was able to get to this point. Uh, so I will re-up everybody's food, all that kind of stuff. I'll get everybody back up to their full HP, and then we'll finish exploring on our ship next time. That is going to do it for this part of Ultima 3. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.